This is a one minute hike of the Piscataquis County Demonstration Forest in Williamsburg Township with BDN reporter Aislinn Sardecki and hiking buddy Oreo. The things we do, Oreo, I don't know. Well, we had a light dusting of snow in Bangor last night uh, and so I thought I could get out and see a little bit of snow today and I decided to come up into Williamsburg Township which is about an hour out of Bangor and there's a lot more snow here than there is in Bangor, that's for sure. We're going to the Piscataquis County Demonstration Forest today. There is about two and a half miles of trails. Um, it's great for snowshoeing and skiing but the problem is this first big snow has weighed down the trees and I can't go all the way to the end of the road to the parking area so I parked off the road here and we're gonna continue on foot and we're only about 0.3 miles away from the parking area according to my directions so I don't think it's too far up the road there so this is where you would normally park it is a sunny day the snow is melting down off the trees a bit it's about 33 34 degrees and it's beautiful up here in Williamsburg Township and if you don't know where that is it's by Brownville if you don't know where that is it's by Milo and if you don't know where that is then I'm sorry it's in Maine somewhere in the woods and we are there uh... This is an old homestead area. Oreo almost just fell in the old well, so remember that's there. So another good reason to have your dog on leash, to save him from falling down an old well. Uh, so past the gate is where the trail starts. Abandoned farm fields frequently grow into white pine. In the 1930s, white pine and red maple succession naturally colonized this abandoned agricultural field. This is a silvicultural technique used to naturally reseed and grow the next forest while retaining part of the old forest. The standard cord of wood is stacked to the measurement of 4 feet by 4 feet by 8 feet. It looks like the trail is going down into the canyon now. Look down into the canyon at the mature sugar maple, yellow birch, and big tooth aspen. Yep. A nanny, also called a nurse log, is when a rooted tree falls over or gets broken off. The nanny provides wildlife cover. It decomposes the seeds of other trees that fall on the log and they will grow with no competition. Granite drilled quarry. In order to build foundations, the homesteaders used existing materials the land provided, and that often had to be moved for farming. So this is red pine ore. It's oh, cool. That looks like a big nest up there. Ah, so this is a Larson Decker homestead. They purchased the land in 1867 and built a homestead, and a barn and outbuildings, and... This outdoor pavilion and recent trail upgrades at the forest have been funded in part through the Recreational Trails Program, a federal program that is administered locally in Maine through the Maine Department of Conservation Bureau of Parks and Lands. So here we uh, can change Roy's outfit into something dry for the trip home. You want some food? You want a treat? Okay. There is still one more loop um, to hike, but I'm going to treat this pavilion as a turnaround point. There's a beautiful view, um, and we only have so much light in the day right now. I don't want to get stuck out here feeling like I'm going to lose sunlight, even though I have a headlamp. This gets colder and colder once the sun goes down. Um, so we're going to turn around here. We're not going to do the final loop, but just so you know, there is a final loop, and it's pretty big. And uh, so you can do some more out here and then go back, or you can treat the pavilion as your turnaround point. Or if you just want an easier hike, you could just do the first loop of this trail network early on. Um, there's a lot of options for you, depending on how long you want to be out here. 